let's learn how to do a pico bind off. This decorative edge gives a beautiful jagged finish to your shawl borders, and you can do a pico bind off instead of any other bind off in your pattern. So if you want that extra flexibility and decoration to your shawl borders, this is how you do it. Here's the pico bind off on my prowl shawl, and I love those little uh, embellished, jagged little dinosaur teeth on the border. So we're gonna do that on this sample. And to begin the pico bind off, just do a regular bind off of three stitches. So I'm going to bind off by knitting two stitches together through the back loop. And I'm doing that three times. After you bind off three stitches, cast on three stitches using the cable cast on. Dive the needle in between stitch one and stitch two and place that new stitch on the left needle two more times. Cast on number two, cast on number three. So you saw I was diving in between that first and second stitch. Now that you have three new stitches, we're going to bind off six total stitches. One, two, three, we need to bind off three more. One, two, three. Okay, I just bound off six stitches. Those three new cast on stitches and the next three. And look at that, we already have a little pico bump. Continue to cast on three stitches and then bind off six. Cast on three, bind off six. Cast on three, bind off six. One, two, three, and bind off six. Two, three, four, five, six. Put it onto the left needle and repeat. Cast on three, bind off six. If you hold the yarn in your right hand, you're going to cast on three like this, diving in between the first and the second stitch, place it on the left needle. There's my third stitch. Now bind off six. One, two, three, four, and five, and six. This is the rhythm that I use for my pico bind off. Uh, cast on three, bind off six. If you want to space your picots further apart, you could bind off more stitches between your cast on stitches. So I'm going to bind off a couple more stitches to space those pico clusters a little further apart. So I just bound off a couple extra stitches and now you could cast on three. One, two, three. And continue to bind off so that spaces your picots further apart. So you might want to try that if you just want picots every now and then. That might be useful if you think that you're running out of yarn you could space your picots further apart and just follow that rhythm all the way to the end of your bind off. And if you don't finish in the exact rhythm, like if you can only bind off two stitches at the end of your shawl and then you're out of stitches, that's totally fine. Just continue the pico rhythm until you run out of stitches to bind off. Okay, I'm gonna show you a trick that might be helpful for some of you. You can also do a pico bind off with a crochet hook. I would use a crochet hook with the same size as your working needle. So I'm going to use a four millimeter hook with my four millimeter needle. Okay, bind off, let's bind off three stitches. You can insert the crochet hook through two stitches through the back loop, pull a strand through, one, two, three, 
And now we cast on three stitches. One, two, and we need to get that third cast on stitch. There we go. And now you can bind off six. So try this crochet hook method. If you're comfortable with crochet, this might go a little bit quicker for you. I don't do too much crochet, so I usually just do it with my knitting needles, but I would give this a go. You might find that it's a little bit faster to bind off with your crochet hook because you can just grab that strand of yarn and pull it on through. So give it a try. One thing you also might try that's a modification of the Pico bind off is whenever you have to cast on stitches, you could try just making a, a chain, a single chain of crochet, and then bind off your next stitches. So this is a little modification that goes even quicker with the crochet hook. So I'm going to bind off three. This is my third bound off stitch. Make a chain, one, two, three, and bind off three again. One, two, three, and do one more chain. One, two, three, and then bind off three. So see how that feels. It looks a little bit different Here's that little chain. It makes a little bit more of a hole in comparison to this little knitted cluster. But I think that also looks quite nice. And what if you did a bigger chain? You could chain five or six stitches and make this bigger arch for your bind off. What I love about the Pico bind off and this little single crochet modification is that it's really stretchy. I've never done a Pico bind off that was too tight. Because you're casting on and adding those stitches, it gives more flexibility, more length along your bind off. So you're always going to have a stretchy finish to your shawl. I just love how it looks. So here again is the color craving shawl with the Pico clusters spaced three stitches apart. Cast on three and then bind off six. Cast on three, bind off six. Well, I hope you enjoyed those Pico tips. That bind off does take a little bit longer to do than a regular bind off, but it's also a little bit prettier. So give it a try. And if you want to take it to the next level, you can do the Pico bind off with a pop of color. The pattern might not say to use a pop of color for your bind off, but you can say, I'm going to make that pattern better and finish that shawl with a, a little embellishment. So you can share all your progress for your West Knits patterns with hashtag West Knits on Instagram. And there's a lot more technique videos on my channel. So you can subscribe down below to catch all the latest updates and releases. I'll see you in the next video.